The recent rumour that Disney is planning to reduce the number of Star Wars streaming shows they produce to one a year, if true, shows they recognise that their current strategy for the Star Wars brand isn't working. Making this reduction in content production is a step in the right direction, but it doesn't go nearly far enough. The change in strategy needs to be far more extreme than this to stand any chance at beginning to rehabilitate the brand. I'll elaborate. Again, if true, the plan to cut down on streaming shows is, on the surface, a decent one, and shows a modicum of understanding about the issues with Star Wars at the moment. One significant mistake Disney has been making is quite simply producing far too much Star Wars content. This is a problem for numerous reasons. It makes it increasingly hard for the audience to keep up with it all, meaning people will just turn away from it out of exhaustion. And it makes it much more inaccessible for new audience members, putting some off from bothering to get into the franchise in the first place. Also, the more content gets produced, the harder it becomes for the people making it to keep track of what's come before. So more and more stories will start to contradict each other and infringe on already established canon. For just the first entry in the Disney catalogue of Star Wars projects, The Force Awakens, there were things that contradicted what was already established in the original Star Wars saga. And for the films that followed, things only got worse. If the company was unable to apply enough care and attention to detail in their first Star Wars film to get basic aspects of the lore correct that can be researched just by watching the old Star Wars films, then of course they're going to make an even bigger mess of things when they're constantly pumping out multiple projects. To reiterate, it's just too much for them to keep track of. Another problem with producing too much content is that that act in itself runs counter to one of the original strengths of the Star Wars brand, which was that Star Wars films were released rarely, making the audience hungry for more and making each new release feel like a significant cultural event. Now that we're bombarded with streaming shows, that former strength of the brand isn't being exercised. Instead, rather than building high with rare, widely spaced Star Wars projects, Disney is fostering audience fatigue with the brand by never giving it a break. Now, it's not just the quantity of content being produced that's an issue. It's also the fact that the majority of what's been released has been very poor quality. When this factor is combined with the oversaturation factor, the damage to the brand gets ruinously compounded. Essentially, Star Wars, once a cinema behemoth, exploring philosophical and psychological concepts in an accessible, entertaining and resonant way, bringing meaning and joy to so many has been reduced to an endlessly flowing sludge in the gutters of a streaming platform. No more is it cinema's biggest force, pioneering innovative filmmaking techniques. Instead, it's an empty shell of a franchise, currently offering only dull, lazy, underdeveloped miniseries. This is all the result of the property changing hands from artist, George Lucas, to corporate collective. People who seem to have no love for the property clearly never understood it and show total disregard for its true cultural value. There are various other issues with the running of the franchise, but I'll cover one more here, which I deem to be significant. The world of Star Wars contains sprawling, epic stories made to be told on the big screen. Through a combination of wanting to use Star Wars to grow their streaming platform and having alienated their audience with past cinematic releases, Disney has obviously been gun-shy about making more Star Wars films. But the streaming shows have been even worse and are reducing Star Wars to a small-scale thing that feels cheap and insignificant and I suspect probably fails to capture the interest of the general audience. Even though the stories produced for these streaming shows are generally not very good, they'd be better served on the big screen 
Take Kenobi. The story for that miniseries was okay. It wasn't great, and certainly wasn't necessary, but it had an acceptable premise for the most part. The execution, however, was mostly a bit of a joke. The show had some good elements in it. A lot of the Vader stuff was quite good, including the final fight between Vader and Obi-Wan, but the series was dragged down by other elements. The show was clearly originally designed to be a film. It had a fairly simple narrative, needlessly stretched across a whole miniseries in a belaboured fashion. A lot of the time the show looked cheap and poorly shot and was full of ridiculous moments, reducing Obi-Wan to an idiot. He does and says bafflingly stupid things frequently in that show. Now, many of those issues would have probably persisted if the story was made as a film instead of a series, but it would have at least been a tighter story, not awkwardly stretched to fill episode runtimes, and would have had cinematic production value. There's the Patterson cut, of course, the fan edit of the series, which does cut it down into a movie, removing or reducing some of the bafflingly ridiculous moments to emphasise some of the better parts of the series, overall serving the story better, so it clearly would have been better as a film. All the more recent streaming shows seem to have been widely rejected by the audience. I can only comment on them based on the audience reaction and clips, because I gave up on watching them probably with Andor, I think. I only got to episode 4 of Andor before I had to stop. I'm a bit baffled by why some people are so enamoured with that show. If you're a fan of it, please do let me know why in the comments, because I thought it was torturously boring. But like Kenobi, perhaps some of these shows would have been better as films, if there's anything redeeming about their stories. Taking all this into account, it's not enough to simply reduce the number of streaming shows to one a year. They need to be reduced to zero. Star Wars needs to be treated as a cinematic property once again, as it was built to be, and most importantly, high quality content needs to be produced, rather than the lazy easy, dull streaming shows that have been dumped onto Disney Plus for years now. Artists like Gareth Edwards need to be hired, who actually have a clear passion for and understanding of the property. As I've mentioned, it's quite obvious that an understanding of the property has been sorely lacking from Disney's ranks for far too many of their projects. The best first step to take is giving the property a break for a few years. Don't produce anything new for a while. Give people time to forget the mess that's been made of things, and to build up enthusiasm for a new Star Wars adventure in the future. Utilise the strengths the franchise capitalised on for many years before the Disney purchase. The template was already laid out for you, Disney. You just had to follow it. It's time to start doing that. But of course, none of that will be done, and the damage to the brand will probably continue, just maybe at a slower pace. Anyway, what do you think? Do you agree with the points I've made here? Do you think my suggestions would help fix the Star Wars brand? Or do you think there's nothing to fix? Do you like the content produced under Disney? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.